A major factor in EVE Online, more so than any other game that I know of, is fear and anxiety. Why is fear a factor in EVE Online? Is this a good or bad thing? I used to believe fear was a negative emotion to be vanquished at all costs. I have reevaluated the value of such a belief. Without fear, there can be no sense of glory. Without anxiety, there can be no change. If one is not at least a little bit afraid, one is not living fully. Fear is a factor in EVE because, imagine, after laboring for days or months to get enough ISK to fit a particular ship, let's say a Stratios, used for running dead space sites in Losec or Nullsec. The Stratus fit well, with little expenses spared. It has a Kovops cloak for escaping gate camps, it's tanky with lots of DPS. You let your friends know about it, show them the fit. You take the ship out to Losec, find a nice juicy dead space site that could drop you hundreds of millions of this. So you go to the site, prepare to take the acceleration gate into the first room, and then another Stratios decloaks right next to you, right on top of you with a crimson red tag indicating that he is a pirate piloting that ship. A criminal committed to lowering his sex status repeatedly just to kill people like you people in nice, blingy ships. For a split second you panic and hesitate. You don't activate the acceleration gate and go into the first room of the site. And then you find yourself locked up, scrammed, and energy nuded. He's got you. One of his buddies come in, in something like a Tengu or a Cinnable, to join in because why not? It's fun to share kills. The loss will show up on the court kill boards. It's likely your friends and court mates will notice. And on top of that, You've wasted days grinding up the ist to get a ship, only to have it blown to hell. Now you see why fear is a big factor, with hundreds of different scenarios a lot like the one just described. First there is the animal fright, the flight or flight adrenaline rush that comes from our lizard brains. After that, there is anxiety, and often rage. These emotions are strongest if it's one of your first losses of this type. Some people will go back to high sec or their blue donut and live the life of a Care Bear, quietly mining in peace, emotionally traumatized, never to set foot into low sec, null sec, or wormhole space again. But this peace is a lie. They can't find any peace. They've fallen victim to fear. They've created a cage of fear for themselves that prevents them from ever taking further risks again. Their imagination runs wild about all the dangers out there, outside of the safe places such as high sec or their blue donut of null sec. Someday, they quit out of boredom or exasperation, finding no peace at all. Some people do quite the opposite. They note what happened after the adrenaline has burned off, consider how it could have been avoided, roll up their sleeves and grind up for another ship, get ready to try again. Instead of fear becoming a cage, it beckons certain people to grow and improve, to seek the thrill. One day, the pilot learns to control their fear. One day, perhaps after several other ship losses, the pilot has turned the tables, and the hunted becomes the hunter. There are many layers of fear and anxiety. Most anxiety is born out of social dilemmas, as EVE can be an extremely socially challenging game. Most especially for leaders, whether they be fleet commanders, CEOs of a corporation, alliance executors, or media and content makers. In the social setting, there's the fear of seeing to be not good enough. There's the fear of losing the fleet, or having dissent in your corporation or alliance. For others, perhaps there's the fear of disappointing your CEO or your corporation. I believe fear can never be completely vanquished. It certainly can be controlled, however. The only way fear and anxiety can cause true damage is when it causes someone to give up entirely. Failure in EVE, unlike real life, is not likely to kill you, and even failure in real life is rarely deadly. As long as you are willing to get up again and proceed, although there may be fear associated with doing so, you can never truly lose.